What's up guys, it's Zoe Daphne. For those of you who don't know me, I am a traveling cellist based in New York City who loves to find adventure one song at a time. If you love music and travel, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Now let's go on an apple picking adventure. My friend and I booked this trip through Sourced Adventures, which is a travel company that operates out of New York City, Washington DC, Boston, and Chicago. They have a ton of different day trips and I would highly, highly recommend this to anyone because they are experts at making the experience hassle-free and fun just like they promise on their website. We woke up bright and early at 8 a.m. to catch the bus at 9 and of course get there 15 minutes early like they recommend. The instructions in the email were super clear. We knew exactly where to go and it was very easy to find. I was really impressed by the bus. I was expecting it to be a little bit run down, but it was so clean and comfortable. And we are off to the orchards. One of my favorite parts of this trip was being able to see those big blue skyscrapers turn into trees with beautiful fall colors as we got more and more upstate. I mean, just look at that. How can you not be in love? When we arrived, they gave us a bag that we could fill with apples that was included in our admission and we wasted no time in getting out to the fields so that we could get all those delicious apples. There were these useful signs by every row that told you what kind of apple it was, whether it was sweet or tart, and different ideas on how to use them best. We were told that we were allowed to taste the apples, which of course I took full advantage of. They were delicious, I just couldn't stop eating them. My favorite ended up being the Golden Delicious, which was near the front, but there were some gorgeous red apples up ahead that had a different taste and were delicious as well. I had no idea there were so many different apple varieties. That was definitely my favorite part of the experience, trying all the different kinds, apart from it being a cottagecore dream, obviously. After filling our bags to the brim, we decided to drop them off in the bus and get some lunch. There were lots of great options, including this adorable fajita truck, but we ended up going for the pizza, which did not disappoint. It was hands down one of the best pizzas I've ever had. We had a free drink included with our ticket, so we checked out the local cidery where the cider is actually made in-house in these big vats. It was delicious. We ended up getting a whole flight just to try all the different kinds. They actually grow the apples for the cider here in the orchards. These are the apples that they use for their famous apple cider. And apparently it's bad to eat them before they've been brewed because it'll give you a stomach ache. We then headed past the adorable farmhouse and went to check out the market. There were so many goodies here. I spent way too much money, but everything is locally grown. It's to support small businesses. And check out how huge these apples are. You can't find this in the grocery stores, that's for sure. I particularly enjoyed the plant section. There were so many healthy and cheap plants. I just wanted to take them all home with me. Especially these flower pots. We had just a little bit of time before heading out, so we did one last round around the orchards, enjoying the fresh air, beautiful views, and I mean the vibes. The vibes were immaculate. And with that, it was unfortunately time to head home. They had movies on the way there and back, which was a really nice touch and perfect after a long day. All in all, it was an amazing experience. For $107 per person, we had a round trip ride, a peck of apples, and a free drink included, which I think was totally worth every penny. I would definitely recommend doing this, and I'll be looking into their other day trips because it was just so well organized and super fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you'll go on an apple picking adventure of your own. If you enjoyed, please subscribe so you don't miss the next video and leave a like and a comment to support this channel. See you in the next video.